a lot of lives were sacrificed that day. 70 years ago this week, there was literally a David versus Goliath battle in the Pacific. And while the U.S. was victorious, the event is not widely recognized. New at 6, 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence has a first-hand account from those who were there. Right across from the Midway, people walk and ride right by it without giving it a second glance. The black granite etched with names of ships and a little recognized battle. But there was nothing little about what U.S. Naval Forces faced 70 years ago. Whole Japanese Navy is after us. That's all I know. And there was a lot of them. The U.S. task force, known as Taffy 3, totaled some 13 small ships and small carriers, up against the best the Japanese had to offer in a push for the Philippines. I was scared to death. I just knew we were going down any time. Ron Vaughn and others here for the reunion survived, but barely. A lot of lives were sacrificed that day. There were more than a thousand American casualties. U.S. forces were up against a formidable force, including the giant Japanese battleship, the Yamato. It weighed more than our whole task force weighed. Don Curtsy was a gunner on the Fanshawe Bay. We took a, a hit next to our gun tub, and I lost my best buddy there. Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, the small U.S. force prevailed. Some 50 survivors are here for the reunion, but sadly, Dick Roby, Jan Loomis's father, is not among them, having passed away. But his legacy may have inspired his great-grandson. You heard a lot of these stories, and at some point, I think that was part of him deciding to go to the Naval Academy. Justin Loomis and others from the Academy are coming to the reunion to do a history project. As for the monument, it's here, because more than 70 years ago, the sailors who were in that battle trained here. And now you know. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.